she's in trouble because he died and left her with no financial stability. Cannot get mad at the creditor. They owe the bill. Pay it. To add to her dilemma, he says to her, if you can't pay the bill, I'm going to enslave your sons. Now, she's already a widow, seemingly with no means of support. And now he's going to take the people who could help her and make them slaves. She's seemingly left with no recourse. But she runs to the man of God. Now, now this ain't one of my main points, but it's certainly a point for you to pay attention to. Whenever you find yourself in some difficult spots in life, make sure you go to the right source. Some of you are in trouble, not because of life's difficulties alone. It is because of when you were in the difficulty or are in the difficulty, you do not go to the right source. Slap your neighbor up five and tell him, go to the right source. Make sure that you go to a source that's able to do something about your situation. In times of difficulties, in times when you're facing life's strong, unpleasant circumstances, even when you're in extenuating circumstances that you didn't even cause yourself, or peradventure you bit off more than you could chew. Whatever the circumstance, predicament, or situation may be, make sure you go to the right source. You don't need a man to help you get over. A man is not your source. You don't need a female to make things better. A female is not your source. You don't need your boss's approval in order to go to the next level. Your boss is not your support. He is not your source. Your source is in God. The one that David said, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Come on here. From which cometh. Talk back to me. My help comes from the Lord. He is the creator of the ends of the universe. And there's nothing and no one God cannot handle. Don't run around telling everybody your business. If God be for you, it's nerve-wracking and aggravating to have somebody putting pressure on you about a debt that you owe but you're unable to pay. The poor judgment of her husband has brought her to this hard time. I, I mean, I got some folk in here today who are in a mess that they didn't start. I got some folk in here today who are in trouble and they didn't create the trouble. <laughs> I got some folk in here today who are dealing with hard times because somebody else exercised the poor judgment. Now, 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 you got to understand, there are people today who are victims of circumstance. That's why some of you need to shut up and sit down. You judging people by what you see. But until you are familiar with my entire story, you don't have a clue as to what I'm going through. Just because I'm smiling and jumping don't mean that everything in my life is right. Some people judge you by you. You don't know why some people are screaming and hollering. You don't know why that lady was running around this church. You don't have an idea what some people have. Some people have left hell just to get in here today. You sitting down with your pious yourself trying to, you need to shut up, sit down, and mind your own business. Slap that neighbor five on the left side and tell him, mind your own business. Look at your neighbor on the right side and say, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get in worship service and create your own world. I don't let nobody on the front row mix me up. 
because I don't know what you came in here for. I don't know what you're going through. All I know about is me. And this is my place to get some joy. This is my place to get some strength. This is my place to hear from God. And I ain't going to let you and your problems mess me up. Some people have to get happy in here. This is the only place that happiness will come to them. My God, up in Zion, some people have to get free here. Or they're going to walk out of here and hurt somebody. I got any honest folk that tell the truth. I, there were times I felt like, I'm going to hurt If God don't say something to me quick, I'm going to hurt somebody. Sometimes life is a doozy. And God don't always give you a whole lot of answers when you're in a hard place. Sometimes he don't say nothing. in here that said all the right things, did it the right way, and it's still a mess. You said it nice, talked it up good, and they still don't appreciate you. After a while, human nature will tell you to tell them all to go to you know where. All y'all. And take your mama and your kids while you're going, all y'all. All y'all. You don't deserve this stuff you're going through. You a nice person. You a nice person to have to deal with this hell. And some people, the nicer you are, the more of an advantage they take over you. Don't act like everybody in your life is treating you good. Come on, get up off of it. You got somebody dogging you and you can't do nothing about them and they still dogging you. I agree with Bishop. I don't look like what I've been through. But I have been through something, but don't let me fool you. The anointing that's on my life, I have paid a price for it. Look at somebody tell them, I done paid a price to dance. I paid a price to clap my hands. I paid a price to holler. I didn't get this being cute. I cried all night for some of this stuff. I've been lied on and talked about. I've been treated and mistreated. I paid a price to stand up here. Sit, sit, sit. You don't have a clue as to what I've been through.